Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, dealing with section P of IXL's 8th grade math. we got transformations and congruence. We're in the third skill, which is rotational symmetry, specifically um, the amount of symmetry. So every figure we look at does have uh, rotational symmetry, and we're trying to figure out what fraction or how many degrees um, is the symmetry. So I'm going to try my best to show you this. I think I'm going to use some... Um, lines here. So the way I usually look at this is I find the center of rotation, okay, and then I look and see, okay, there's a piece of this figure um, that is identical to all the other pieces. And, and what we can do is, this one's tough, so I'm going to actually keep drawing these lines here. How many of these sections do I or can I make? All right, so let's keep going here. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if I rotate this figure, um, one eleventh of the way around. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, actually, there's twelve. So if I rotate it just one twelfth of the way, it still looks the same. Another twelfth that looks the same. Another twelfth that looks the same. So what's the smallest fraction? Um, it's just one twelfth of a rotation. All right, another one of these. Uh, this one's probably a little simpler to look at. So we can just kind of count these pieces here. One, two, three, four, five pieces on the edge of the starfish. So it should be um, one-fifth of a turn. One-fifth of a turn. So I think I will throw those lines on there, though, so we can check that. I can show you a little bit better. Here's the center of rotation. One, two. There's other ways to draw these lines, but you'd still have five of them no matter what. Grab the starfish, we'll turn it once, now it looks the same as it originally does. Twice, now it looks the same as it originally does. Three times, looks like it originally does. Four times, looks like it originally does. On the fifth rotation, we're back to the beginning. So one-fifth of a turn. Okay, uh, this image has rotational symmetry. What's the smallest number of degrees you can rotate the image for it to look the same? All right, so here's what I'm going to do is um, I think each time that I run a line through one of those seeds of the watermelon um, from the center to the seed, there's a section. So basically we can just count the seeds, can't we? I think we can. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve again. Okay, so we're at one twelfth, but um, we're not talking about fractions anymore. We're talking about degrees. So what we'll do is take 360 degrees in one full rotation and we'll divide that by 12. So 360 divided by 12 is a 30 degree minimum rotation. So the measure of that angle, by the way, is 30 degrees. If we measured this angle with a protractor, it would be a 30 degree angle. But this is probably the easier way. Instead of measuring it, just do 360 divided by the fraction, or by 12. This one's kind of tricky because it's got different, um, different uh, colors, slightly different shades of green. So if we look at this one and we break it up, um, maybe we go from the center of rotation out here. So is it that this is our rotation? Well, let's, let's look at that a little bit. So if I rotate it around that much, does it look the same? I don't think so because we used to have dark green on top and now we have light green on top. So I'm going to reset this. Grab this line. I think this is the rotation right here. So that's 
one. Now we got dark green on top again. Well, again, there's two. We have dark green on top again. And there's three, three times around. So I'm going to do 360 degrees divided by three full rotation, or three, one third of a rotation is 120 degrees. So it's got 120 degree rotational symmetry. And one more. This one's a little bit tougher to see, and that's why I threw it on there. Um, some people might look at it as like, oh, this, this piece right here. Um, but if you look at it like that, is that identical to the way it used to be? No, it's not. So really the line that we're talking about here is this line, well, from our center of rotation, but then it's all the way out here. So it actually is a straight line. So we have to turn it all the way around that to right there before we get the identical piece again. So that is, so that would be two rotations in a full turn or two part, you go halfway around basically. So 360 degrees divided in half is 180 degree rotational symmetry. You notice it has 180 degree rotational symmetry. It also has uh, line symmetry as well or reflectional symmetry. All right, so that's uh, how you figure out the amount of rotation, skill number three in IXL's 8th grade math, section P, transformation and congruence.